and welcome to another episode of Project Z. And today is a big day of work. We are going to be dropping the uh, gearbox and we are going to be uh, replacing the clutch plate. We are going to be replacing the clutch cable. And we have also got some pulley work where the, we'll be changing the pulley and the accessory belts for the alternator and the AC. We've also got uh, an uh, oil filter change and some engine mounts so today we've got quite a lot of work to do let's get cracking Getting the gearbox out of the car well is not as an easy task as one would think. We started removing everything from the bottom of the car and started the process of removing the gearbox from its place. We also removed the oil from the car since it had to be changed for the service. Okay. Okay. So by mistakely we dropped one of the washers of the mount in the oil. A handy tool that helps. It's a magnet. Goes anywhere. We got the... Anyways, it's going to go in the garbage bin, so it doesn't matter. Overall, everything was going great and the gearbox was almost out. As uh, you can see right now, we are holding the uh, axles with our hands so that we can drop the gearbox and the gearbox is supported by the jack. And we are just going to be removing some loose ends, uh, some ends that are joined to the car and uh, drop down the gearbox fix the clutch plate, replace the clutch plate and uh, everything will be hunky-dory, back to place. Alright, as you can see the gearbox is down and uh, we have our flywheel exposed, that means our clutch plate has also been coming, uh, has also come off and we have used some sandpaper uh, around the flywheel so that we remove all the rust around the flywheel and uh, the clutch plate that our new clutch plate is nice and flush so no rust in the gearbox Since there was a leak in the engine, a lot of oil had been dripping onto the gearbox and thus the gearbox had been quite oily. So we decided to clean the gearbox with some diesel so that all of the oil stains could be removed and we could diagnose any other problems in the gearbox. Luckily we found none. Okay, so now we are all almost done with all of our dirty work. We have uh, put in the new clutch plate and uh, our gearbox has been cleaned with diesel because we have had a bit of a leak on the engine and it's all dropped into the gearbox. So we have cleaned the gearbox with diesel and now it's time to remove the older mounts and put the new mounts and also the new clutch cable we've, which is almost out. Okay, it's out. <laughs> We started to fit the gearbox back in its place and after a long and arduous day, everyone at Autodesir was tired and wanted to go home. So we called it a day and decided to finish the rest of the servicing in the little Zen the next day. The following day, Kiran started working on the Zen. I wasn't at the shop since I was at mechanics for the VRS build. If you haven't checked it out, please link in the description, check it out, it was sick. Before we started the servicing of the Zen, we changed the engine pulley, the pulley belt and the engine mounts. Later on, we went ahead with the regular servicing that was due for the Zen. That is, we changed the engine oil filter, we flushed the old engine oil out and then we later put on some new engine oil. Overall, the car at the end of it was mechanically sound and good to go for all the mods we wanted to do on the car without worrying about the engine's health. But that's all for a different episode. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope that you are enjoying the series of Project Zen so far. If you do, 
प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल फॉर मोर सच कंटेंट फॉलो ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड ऑल्सो फॉलो प्रिस्टीन ऑटोमोबाइल्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम दिस इज ऑल फॉर टूडे एंड आई सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन चाओ